Today we'll talk a little bit about the linebacker and the cab and some of the items that are in there. Um, earlier you heard about our winch option, a wireless winch and a, also a plug-in. That plug-in, if you ever need to use it, would be right here on the side of the cab. As you enter the cab, you would take the uh, cable out of the door pocket or wherever you keep it and plug it in here and you could run that with a cable version. Um, as you get in the cab, you will see here on the left-hand side there is a sensor. That sensor is to indicate the door is closed. That is part of the operating system to allow you to run the head. The machine also has a seat switch in the seat to tell the out, uh, machine if the operator is actually sitting in the seat. To control the machine, we have on the floor, uh, underneath the uh, steering column is a treadle. Pushing the left-hand side of the treadle will cause the machine to travel in reverse. Pushing on the right-hand side of the pedal will cause the machine to travel forward. Um, as we move up from there on the steering column, there's a little handle on the left-hand side that will allow you to tilt the steering wheel fore and aft or extend it in and out, depending on which way you push and pull that handle to make that operation work. Um, to the right-hand side, we have the joystick. Uh, the joystick of the machine has uh, basically three functions. Uh, pulling the joystick and forward and uh, back will allow the head to move up and down. Moving the joystick side to side will tilt the head forward and back, and the two buttons on the joystick will open the little gate on the front of the head. Over on the far right-hand side of the machine is the heat and AC controls. Um, down in the lower right-hand side, you will see the knob for adjusting the heat in the cab. Up on the top, you will see the knob for turning the fan and the AC temperatures where you want those set. Um, towards the front, you'll see two fuse panels. The one in the front has fuses only in it, and the larger one has relays and fuses. And right below the big panel on the set, on the side, you will see a round plug. That is the diagnostic connection. So if somebody were to connect with the engine to do diagnostics with it or uh, the electronic control system that's in there, they can plug in there to have access to those items. On the right-hand panel, located where the uh, display is mounted, there are also two types of uh, charging connections, one a USB and also one a regular PowerPoint to connect your devices that need to be charged in the cab. Up on the top, you'll see two slope or inclinometers. There is one for side to side and front to back. Um, as you'll see, you, uh, there's indication in there that where you should be that you don't ever want to run these machines past a 25 degree slope, whether at side to side hill or up and down forward and aft. Um, either way, you want to be within uh, the 25 degrees of slope. Over on the uh, right hand console uh, by the display, there is an e-stop. Um, you pull up on the e-stop. When you pull up the e-stop, the display will then uh, turn on. And once the display turns on, then you can use that to log into the system to start the machine and uh, control the machine. When you first power up the machine uh, through the e-stop, the display will come up with the uh, linebacker logo and it'll have a little uh, start stop symbol. You press that start stop symbol and a passcode will come up. You'll enter the passcode for your machine. Once you've entered into the uh, display, you can set that based on whatever your company's needs are for those passcodes. Um, then you'll come to a main display page. On that main display page, there is some functionality for um, in the center of the RPM gauge to start the machine, a start stop button. On the right hand side, there is a uh, head pressure gauge. That head pressure gauge in the center of that also has an on off button to turn the head on and off. Across the top of the display, there are some icons. The far left one is a triangle that has an exclamation point in it. If that is flashing and you were to touch that spot, it'll bring you up to the fault codes for the engine. On that page, it'll list the fault codes. You can scroll through them. And once you have them written down, you can click on another button, which will take you to the PDF and you can read what your fault codes are and help you determine how you might need to troubleshoot the errors that the engine may have. On the right-hand side, if you push the slide out, you will have the access to the menu in the display where you can also access the backup camera there if you want to try it out, make sure it's working. The uh, cab has been certified for ROPS and FOPS. Uh, it meets the requirements of the machine for its weight, whether it has wheels or quad tracks on it, but has been certified for that rollover and fall protection for the cab and the operator. The uh, seat has a seat belt, which should be worn as part of the safety requirements while operating the machine. Also inside the cab, you will see uh, several stickers. These stickers are for warning you or the operator of the machine what to look for. If any of these are missing, you should replace them uh, in the event somebody else comes to run your machine. They know what to watch for, for the safety of the machine. The cab does have a cab pressurization unit. 
which is located on the other side of the machine. And when we look at that side of the machine, we'll point out where that is along with a filter that should be serviced and made sure it's clean to keep the cab pressurized properly. The uh, electronics on this machine are a 12 volt system with a dual battery. In the back, there is a master power disconnect that turns the power off to everything that's required to be off, along with our e-stop that's up on the right-hand panel to power up the system. On the left-hand side of the machine, integrated into the step is the DEF tank for the requirements of the engine. Inside of this tank, there is a level sensor, quality sensor, and a temp sensor that's all connected into the engine to make sure the system is working properly. There's a little flip up tab on here that you can use to padlock this closed if need be um, in the event that somebody doesn't put something in your tank that you don't want there. Internal to the tank at the very bottom, there is also a screen slash filter that could potentially need to be changed depending on your system. Um, that would be indicated that the engine would give you a warning that something is wrong in the DEF system, might not be able to create enough pressure and we'd be part of the troubleshooting tree to know if that needs to be replaced or not.